get to take a look at the cattle dog, too. Hi there. Be right there. So she's got a lot of doggies to take care of too. Hi guys. Hi. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. Hi there. Really? <laughs> There's a couple more over there. So as you guys can see, any financial help would certainly help her out. Hi. She has a lot to take care of here. Hi. I had no idea she had so many doggies. Hi. one over there somewhere I can't see. Well, you guys calmed right down, didn't you? Didn't you? You calmed right down, didn't you? Aw, look at you. What are you mean? Really? Really? You're not mean. You're just excited. You're just excited. <laughs> And we have all this area for the doggies, too. Oh, it's a real deal rescue, guys. Hi. And they all lead to the outdoors, so they have their places. See, these are the, the fencing that I was talking about. Oh, okay. So. Are you really that happy? Yeah. You sure look happy. You sure look happy. Yes, you do. Look at that happy face. Look at that happy face. Where'd the other doggy go that was in there? There you are. You both look very happy. Yes, you do. You look very happy. Yes. The sheltered area come off the back of this garage. One side of the garage. Good puppies. Good puppies. Yes. Good puppies. I don't have no food. I don't have no <laughs> Are these two feral because they were just like no interaction with people kind of situation? Or? So we took in eight dogs that were living in a corn crib. And the corn crib had previously housed pigs. And when the dogs came in, they were all black. The mom dog, the spe more speckled one, um, had three babies that were only three weeks old, and they took them away from her. Ooh, wow. They catch pulled them, which scared them right. senseless. And so these are the last two out of those eight. And these have, been, and these have been here since 2017. Can you interact with them at all? Um, I bring them in at night and feed them. They're not. Me? No. Yeah. <laughs> They're like never going to be family dogs or nothing like that, right? What they need is a setup where they have a fenced area and they can go into a, like a garage. Yeah. Can I know. pet this one? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> okay. We never no pet, pet rule. We never pet dogs over the top of a fence because that teaches them they can jump over. Oh, okay. So if you are going to pet them, which you aren't, but it would be <laughs> down here right. and with a treat and, you know, yep. And these guys are very athletic, so I don't want them encouraged to be jumping. Right, no okay. doubt yeah, about I, that. I can understand that. Well, thank you for the tour of everything. I was... When I started this today, I'm like, well, 10 minutes is like a goal for a YouTube video. Because when you have a commercial, if you have a 10 minute video, you can choose where the commercial goes. And you can choose it at the beginning so then you can watch the commercial and watch your whole video. 
without interruption, otherwise you get to pop up in the middle. So the goal is always to try to get 10 minutes. And I was like, well, I hope I can get 10 minutes out of this today. Well, I probably got a half hour. <laughs> you can do several. Yeah. We'll see you guys. Thanks for quieting down for a minute. <laughs> For the fence project on the end on the front I have a, a barrier because if I have dogs in there they go up to the fence and they tease the other dogs so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fence off the part where there's not a gate okay so I need to do that all the so way so they all have a hiding spot well it's more a, a where they visual can barrier so, because these guys will go up to the fence, that's why everything's privacy fence. Because if you have see-through, they run fences. They, they, uh, you know, uh, yeah. they, they're tough behind a fence, and then they tease the ones, you know, that are on the other side. I, I saw a video there showing they got this uh, two dogs on either side of the gate or a fence. And they're growling, they're snarling the whole nine yards. It's one of these retractable fences. As the gate slowly opens, they all quiet down, and once mm -hmm. the gate's yep. open, they're just kind of sitting yep. there looking at each other, and like, exactly. real quiet, and then they reverse the gate and yep. close, and as that thing closes, they get more and more aggressive. Yep. Yep. Jeez. Everybody has to sit, so I'm just going to go through just kind okay. of my ritual. Good job. See, everybody's sitting. Okay. So because we've got multiple dogs, too, ma too many, um, so you're just going to sit. We have to sit. Thank you. Sit. 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 No cheating. <laughs> that was cheating. Okay, this is the one that got me one thing. This is great. I didn't think they were going to quiet down. Your, your turn. Okay. They have to sit. So you're going to have to. I want to be on their level. You gotta sit. Sit. Just one word. Sit. Okay, then go ahead and feed that one. Ah! No. Okay. You get one? Cranky streak. You get one. Of course, you can get one. Whatever it's got. Sit. 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 <laughs> okay. Well, he's. He's worried about that one going after him, too, so Sit. I, I kind of understand a little Sit. bit. Sit. Okay, yep. Okay, then and you the, got one the, the chocolate the one. Fence. She's being really good. She, so. what's, can, does she have a name? Queso. Queso. Come here, Queso. Good job. Well, Come see, here. she's... Come here, There's too many. That's yeah. why I don't like so many in a Come group. Come here, Queso. It's it's, no, you oh, got one. a little queso. fearful. <laughs> Yeah, so she doesn't have to sit, so if she comes over here, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, yeah. good girl. Yeah, because she already sat over there. Yeah. So we just kind of... Good doggies. Okay. Okay, they get, they get some treats, too. I still got four fingers, all right. The doggies. Still got four fingers. Now the challenging doggies. So no, no talking, just because the boys, the new boys, will, will upset them. Hey guys, you ready? Get 
they deserve treats too. Hey guys. Yeah, here we go. And once in a while we have these trees fall in here. When there's nobody here, they will come. There's, there's a pile they will there come up to this tent. The stranger danger factor, or yeah, stranger danger. <laughs> well, guys, hope you enjoyed the visit to, I believe it's called Akuda, Akuda, Australian Cattle Dog Rescue. I had no idea she had that much going on with the dogs. So, as you guys can see, it's a full-blown real deal shelter and I'm sure it costs a pretty penny to keep all them guys fed and the cats and the litter and all that so any help you guys can throw her away certainly would be appreciated Carl you got anything to add? No not right now I'm just looking for her light bulbs to buy she needs to uh, new light bulbs and fluorescent lights so we're going to hook her up and get her some bulbs and help her out. They do, she did say she could use help with volunteering. I don't know if any of you guys are in the Michigan area or not, but Wednesday's clinic day when they do the spay and neuter clinic for the cats, so she always needs help there. And then they have projects in and around the dog pens area that need help. So Carl and I are going to try to help her out with that. So we'll see. And I hope you guys all enjoyed seeing all the cats and getting to hang out with Mr. Buddy for a while. I enjoyed that for sure. Thanks for watching.